Okay, guys, so it almost felt like this movie was actually cursed. It's this place. It's cursed. There were so many things going wrong with this movie. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. It's been years and years, but we're finally getting it. So let's go check out the trailer. And if you want to see me react to the other Super Bowl trailers, please feel free to subscribe or just give this video a like. Now let's go check out the trailer. Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Another timeline. Another Is that universe. Batman? So oh, it's the bat... Not the Batmobile, the bat guy. This is the one where my mom lives. I'm not gonna lose her again. Aww. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people, different worlds, drawn to each other like magnets. <laughs> Wow. My face. <laughs> so my face. <laughs> so my face. <laughs> if you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy Not everything. This can't be happening. I completely broke the universe. Sorry. We've been waiting for you. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? Oh, that was so cool. That's a really cool back hey? You're... You are... Yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> it's the Batman cinematic universe. honest with you when it comes to Superman. I don't really care too much about Superman except for Henry Cavill's version. I really enjoyed him in Batman vs Superman. The Ultimate Edition was so much better. But anyway, when it comes to Superman in general, I'm just not a huge fan. I'm definitely more of a Batman girl. And when it comes to Michael Keaton's Batman, he's definitely not on my list of favourite Batmans. But I still definitely like his Batman movies that Tim Burton directed because it feels like such a unique universe that he created, that version of Gotham City. And I loved Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. And I heard some rumours we were going to get a sort of Tim Burton Gotham City for a little bit in The Flash that that was going to feature in the movie. And also Michelle Pfeiffer as well, apparently, at one stage. But... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. Well, I know that Catwoman isn't going to be in this, but I don't know if we're going to even get a bit of Gotham City. I don't think we saw any in the trailer. So, look, but we do have two Batman, so that's what's important. So, obviously, we've got Keaton and Batfleck. Batfleck is definitely the superior Batman, in my opinion, so I'm really excited for that. And it looks like Christian Bale's Batman on the bike in that split second. That looks like the 
you know, the bike from The Dark Knight where he nearly ran over the Joker with it. So imagine if we got three Batmans, just bring in all of them, bring in Robert Pattinson, bring in David Mazous from Gotham, which is an amazing show if you haven't seen it. Just bring in all the Batmans together. That would be an amazing movie, just having a Batman cinematic universe. But anyway, with our two Batmans that we have confirmed and the two Flashes, it still looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm definitely looking forward to this movie. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, all of that. You know the drill by now. Thanks, guys.